Welcome back to Fearless Ferris Fire. So, just today we had a bunch of tools show up. So I ordered these off of Amazon just because that's the easiest for me to order off of because my parents have an account and then, you know, it's easiest for me to order tools off of them and the tools that I bought off of Amazon, I looked around and they had the best price or not necessarily best prices, but they were good enough for me. So, let's get into it. Um, As we usually do this, I'm going to do my best to put it in kind of numerical order of like least expensive to most expensive. But we'll try our best because I'm not, I don't remember off the hand perfectly. But let's just break into it. So, to start this off, we have... This is our first tool that I ordered. It is a hose cutter for basically all sizes, all size hoses. Um, I had to use my dad's and I just wanted my own. And so I got it. I think this was about $12. This is made in the USA. And this is under, I don't know, Gators. I think I'm not fully sure um so don't quote me on that um let's see I think that might be a part number for it we'll see or that's probably the part number for it so you can see there you can even cut like um PVC pipe you can do all kinds of that and cuts up to um inch and a half pipe. I mean, yeah, pipe and rubber hose and thin wall PVC. So up to inch and a half um rubber hose and inch and a quarter PVC pipe, which that's actually pretty big. So get this thing opened up now and show you. So, it is a plastic frame, which is a little concerning, but it folds up real nicely into this nice small size. It does not have a lock to keep it from opening or not opening, but it seems pretty nice. So, let's open it up. Let's see. The blade actually does, yeah, and it feels really sharp. So, that's nice, and it's made in the USA, so... There you go. That's your part number, or the patent number, actually. Not the part number. The part number should be on the blade. So, that was about $12 made in USA. I thought it was a good buy. I needed one, so now let's move on. So, I think this is just out of speculation. Pretty sure this was the second um, least expensive thing. So let's break it open. So these are a bunch of like all the size of spark plug sockets that you need. Let me grab a little razor blade so we can open this up. Because my fingernails not sh I just cut them and they're not very sharp. <laughs> so we got my mini razor blade right here it's pretty cute get this thing sliced open and look her over so i got it opened up and i one thing i liked about this it this is aries i think it's the brain i mean the brand uh comes with the standard and metric all three eight inch drive spark plug socket set um, there you go, there's the label, so if you want to maybe search that up, try to get better light, there, there you go, so that might help you guys if you want to look that up, um, I'll probably go over these later, they have, so one thing I liked about these so number one, like, you know, they have all the sizes that you need in this set. Has actually a really nice socket rail with it, which will go nicely in my box. And 
it has the laser engraved so you can easily see it. It'll probably wear out off after using it a lot, but it also has this stamped in. These are made in Taiwan, sadly, but it's better than China. So that was the second most expensive, or second least expensive thing. So as we could see, we'll just throw these in my box here. They fit in there real nicely. And we'll see how well they stay up, right? But it stayed up right so far, and I closed it kind of hard, so... Alright, so off of my memory, I believe that this one is now, a th oh, and I believe those were 20, about 15, 20 dollars. So they were actually not too bad. And I'll give them a try. They do have um, nice rubber liners for, you know, the, if you look in there, they have nice rubber. Let's see if I can pull it out. Nope, they actually, they don't pull out very easily. That's nice. While the Huskies, they pull out quite easy when you get a spark plug in there. But I think I have a spark plug right here so we can kind of see how well it fits it. And it disappeared, so we'll just move on now. So I think those were like eight, fifteen, eighteen $15, $18. Um, don't quote me on that, because I'm not, I don't remember exactly. But, let's break into, now, the third one on the price list. So, this is the Klein Tools Tradesman Pro Organizer. It, I got the large one, because I know I'll fill it up with the tools. Um, it is for my multimeter. They also have a medium, which is probably about that big. And so there you go. That's the label if you want to search that up. And this is the hard case. So when I'm, you know, using this as my mobile case, it isn't getting all beat up or my tools aren't getting thrashed when, you know, they're being thrown in the back of a truck. Well, not literally thrown, but... You get what I'm saying. Hopefully. But, so that is the case now. Actually, really nice liner in there. So now what we can do is this Klein meter that I have. Sorry about the bad camera work. But, now this Klein meter that we I got can fit nicely in there. All of our test leads can nicely be squeezed in there. And now I can stick my other meter nicely in this case. And, you know, when I get a chance, I'll nicely put it in there. But yeah, so it holds everything nicely. I could probably even get a couple different style leads to even throw in there and it closes and zips up very nicely so that now we have a fully contained case that can now be thrown into my tool bag all right so now we are going up i think this one was like five dollars so that was twenty dollars this one might have been like 25 bucks it might might have been less. I cannot remember exactly, but this is the man fitter. I think I I cannot pronounce. I cannot read a lot of these tool companies' names. But this is basically the interior. I mainly got it for these non-marring tran panels, and it comes with a nice squeegee for putting on like um window tint. And it also comes with all these, the pins. We're pulling out the different types of fuses in those sorts. As you can see, it comes with all that, which is really nice. And all the non-marring tools. The 
trim panel pullers are quite chintzy. Harbor Freight beat them on that one. That's one thing they beat them on. Or beat another company on. And their picks are actually not the worst ever. I definitely prefer my snap-ons. But you also pay $20, $50 for those, and you pay probably $5, if not more, for these ones in this set. So, um, so far, I have not used it, but I am liking the looks of it. These, the polars are actually pretty stiff, the plastic. Some of the reviews were saying, like, they were quite flimsy, but I am actually really not seeing that. They seem quite stiff and enough to pull most panels out. And if they're really that tough, it's probably not the best car, so. Then you just repair it. If they're that tough to get out, you're probably going to have to repair it. So then you just pull out the marring pullers. So, I think this was $20, $25. Liking it, um, have not used it yet. But I'll probably let you guys know once I use it more. And, yeah, tell you what I think and if it's a good buy or not. Alright, so now, once I get this thing zipped up, we'll go on. So, I believe this one was cheaper. I think these were all relatively the same price, but I got myself some Capri tools. So I got the Capri super thin open end, like double open end, in millimeter and in inches and I also got the Capri triple squares these are just the standard length not the stubby triple squares I'll probably pick up the stubbies at another time these are made in Taiwan but oh well the case is really nice actually And the latch actually does not feel like it's going to, like, slip open. Because I hate those cases that they very easily, like, slip open. Like, it takes a little bit of effort to get open. So, it comes with some nice foam. comes with a sticker. So, we'll probably stick that up on the box there. Set that aside. And, for me, I feel like these are really, really nice bits. So these are made out of, or advertised, that they are made out of S2 um, t tool steel. Sorry, that, that kind of messed me up. It's kind of like a tongue twister. And said to have like some custom heat treating treatment. Um, look forward to trying these out on some car. And I'll let you guys know what I think about these. But if you go and check out CP, the tool addict, um, he has a good video on all these Capri. He's a big supporter of Capri tools. So this one here is the inches. Super thin wrenches. Um, one thing that I really liked about these, or this brand, um of the super thins were that they came with their own holder because you always buy the wrenches and then you have to go buy the holders and then you like you stack up a lot of money putting down while you just get these all in one so it's kind of hard to get one-handed openings but there we go so now we can go over here to the box we can figure out where to stick these. Ah, those look nice. Gonna have to find places for all, all my other tools now, but those suit this very nicely. So, really excited about all these tools now. And if you have any comments or any ideas or anything that you just want to say about maybe these tools or anything... Just comment them below. Um, I'm trying to work on sweeping the camera a little bit slower. And I, I'm probably going to start looking into maybe getting like a tripod or something. So that we're not having the 
kind of movements of the camera. So really appreciate you guys watching and I hope that you enjoyed and there will be more tools on the way. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.